This is the treatment of the joint life policy account. It is similar to that in case of retirement. The only exception here is that instead of surrender value, we will receive now the entire policy amount. It is maturity since there is a partner who has died. <clears throat> so what are the methods we said? There is the premium method, there is the joint life policy method and the joint life policy along with reserve. Let us first discuss the premium method. Under the premium method, when we pay the premium, the amount is treated as an expense. There is no asset in the books. So when you pay premium, premium account debit to bank and transfer it to the profit and loss account. So this is nothing but an expense. Next what happens? On death, the amount that we receive is not, in case of the retirement, we said it was surrender value. This is going to be the policy amount. Policy amount. We will receive the full amount. So insurance company account debit 2, that is credited to the joint life policy account and joint life policy account debit to A to B to C in the old profit sharing ratio. This is insurance company when money is received bank account debit to insurance company. What happens when JLP is shown as an asset? <clears throat> Joint life policy account debit to bank. So with the premium paid, we debit an asset account called joint life policy account. At the end of the year, joint life policy is shown at its surrender value. So anything excess, the joint life policy account, whatever balance is there, the excess over the surrender value is transferred to the profit and loss account so that the JLP continues to be shown at its surrender value. We do this every year. Now again on maturity, as we said before, we will get the policy amount. So amount is received, insurance company account debit to JLP account, joint life policy account. <clears throat> Since the joint life policy, we had a balance, a surrender value was there. Now an amount of the full maturity value has come in, the difference would be transferred to a, B and C's account again in the old profit sharing ratio. This is insurance company to joint life policy and when it's received bank account debit to insurance company. <clears throat> this is on receipt, on receipt of the money. Next joint life policy asset and reserve. We create, we, can, we carry the joint life policy at the surrender value. And on the other side of the balance sheet, we also have a joint life policy reserve account of the same amount. So what are the accounting entries? Joint life policy account debit to bank. Joint life policy account debit to bank is with the asset. Profit and loss account debit to joint life policy reserve account also with the amount of premium. So we have created an asset with the amount of premium paid. We have also created a reserve with the amount of premium paid. However, we will carry forward the asset at, we will carry forward the asset at the surrender value. So, we reduce the asset, we reduce the reserve. Joint life policy reserve account debit to joint life policy account with the balance in the joint life policy account minus the surrender value. On the death of the person with the policy amount, <clears throat> maturity, the joint life policy reserve account is closed by transfer to the joint life policy account. And on receipt of the, on, on the policy amount becoming due, we say insurance company account debit to joint life policy account. Joint life policy account debit to the partner's capital accounts in the old profit sharing ratio. And finally, when the amount is received, bank account debit to insurance company. Same treatment.